Hi. Welcome to Math Den. A series of math topics tutorials. This covers algebra, geometry, trigonometry, probability, statistics, calculus, and business mathematics. Today's topic is the process of solving rational inequalities. How to solve a rational inequality. This tutorial will show you the step by step process of solving rational inequality. Make sure that you already understand the interval notation because the solution for inequality is through interval of values. For example, determine the solution set of this rational inequality x squared minus 4 all over x is greater than or equal to 0. Step number 1. Rewrite the inequality as a single fraction on the left side and 0 on the right. Factor the numerator and denominator completely. Single fraction and factored form on the left and 0 on the right. Step number 2. Identify the value or values of x that will make the expression 0. The expression is 0 if x is equal to negative 2 and positive 2. Those values are included because of the inequality symbol greater than or equal to. Mark negative 2 and positive 2 as shaded circles in the graph. Step number 3. Identify the value or values of x that will make the expression undefined. The expression is undefined if x is equal to 0. 0 is not included value. Take note that all values making undefined results are not included values of domain. Therefore, mark 0 as hollow circle in the graph. Step number 4. Create the intervals. The first interval is parenthesis, negative infinity, comma, negative 2, bracket. The second interval is bracket, negative 2, comma, 0, parenthesis. The third interval is parenthesis, 0, comma, 2, bracket. And the fourth interval is bracket 2 positive infinity parenthesis. Step number 5. Create the table of signs. Table of signs is composed of columns and rows. The first row is for the intervals. Put the intervals that we got. In step 4, the second row is for the test value. Test value is any value that is included in the intervals. For example, negative 3 is included in the first interval. Negative 1 is included in the second interval. Positive 1 is included in the third interval. And positive 3 is included in the fourth interval. The third row is for the original expression in the given. The given is x squared minus 4 all over x. And the last row is for the sign of the result. Meaning, we are going to substitute the test values to the original expression and determine if the result is positive or negative. Let's proceed to the testing of values. If we substitute negative 3 to the expression, the result is 5 over negative 3. Positive over negative is negative. Next, if we substitute negative 1 
to the expression, the result is, negative 3, over, negative 1. Negative, over negative, is positive. Next, if we substitute, positive 1, to the expression, the result is, negative 3, over, positive 1. Negative, over positive, is negative. Lastly, if we substitute positive 3 to the expression, the result is positive 5 over positive 3. Positive over positive is positive. Since the given inequality is looking for greater than or equal to 0, those are positive numbers. Look for the intervals in the table that has positive results. Those intervals will be the solution set of the given inequality. Therefore, the solution set for the inequality x squared minus 4 all over x is greater than or equal to 0 r. The second interval and the fourth interval. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more video tutorials.